Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome back to Taekwondo. <laughs> step by step. Are you ready for another good time with us here today? I thought so. Well, let's get rocking and rolling, shall we? Welcome back, Master Lee. Hello. So, Master Lee, what is it that we're learning today? Yes, today we'll make the are pitromaki, are hechomaki, the are okoromaki, and lastly the anpalmok olgulmaki, which is different from the pakat palmok olgulmaki we learned before. Okay, sounds good. So, what was the first one again? When we're doing the pitromaki, we have to twist our body. Right, so, you have to twist somehow. Right. We can either make a chuchumsogi or the akubisogi for the stance. When your opponent is attacking your leg, you can make a twist block. Would you try kicking at me uh, with that leg, Andrew? Then I would block like this. If you're attacking with the opposite leg, uh, try it, Andrew. I can block like this. As you block, if your opponent is making a twist kick, try a twist kick, Andrew. Then you block and counter like this. This should look like a rectangle and you attack with your hand like this. Okay, well that was a goodie. So what's the next one now then? The next one is the are hechomaki. Are hechomaki refers to blocking the body attacks. From the upper area of your body, breathe in lightly and lower your fist slowly and lightly. Do you know the name of the stance, Andrew? Yeah, this is um, Narani Sogi. Good, Andrew. This stance is used to link movements, to focus the mind, to catch the breath, and to prepare for the following movement. Do it lightly. And this is how the stance should look like. You can use it to attack also. Make an attack at me, Andrew. Then you quickly block the attack like this. You move your hands like this to block. Why don't you try blocking now? My arms are still here. When you block, you have to strike my hand out. Farther out, Andrew so that my fist gets pushed out farther. Like this, you can make a quick attack. Okay, so the next one now. Yes, the next one we'll talk about is the are okoromaki. Okolda. Okolda, it refers to crossing your hands over. Don't put your fists together, but the wrists together. The wrists have to be together. Starting from your right side, when your opponent is kicking at you, your body follows in as you block. Uh, okay. You block like this. You can easily... Now, this is the way you should block. You can easily make a counterattack from here. Wrong blocking, wrong blocking, Andrew. My foot should fall in between them. I will do it slower this time. If the block is successful, the foot gets knocked down. Then you can counterattack. Do it right on the target. This is called okay. the okoromaki. But since you're blocking the lower part of the body, we call it the okoro aremaki. Okay. All right. So then what's the next one now? The last one. Yes, the last one is the anpalmok olgul pakanmaki. You learned about the pakat palmok olgul maki before, right? 
the pakat palmok or the outer wrist and the an palmok or the inner wrist are used differently. When someone attacks you, use the pakat palmok to block or the an palmok to block. When you use the pakat palmok to block, you can block very forcefully. It can be an efficient way to block an attack. Also, you can counterattack very forcefully. But you can't do this with the an palmok because you can only push out a short distance or just outside the soft spot. But you can counterattack instantaneously. Since you can make an attack like that, the an palmok is much more useful. When your opponent is attacking your face, you use the anpalmok olgul pakkan makki. Would you try blocking my attack, Andrew? Okay. Why don't you try with your pakkan palmok first? No problem. Then make with your anpalmok. Yeah, you can do okay. Right, right. So like that, and then straight with that one. That's right. But the hand has to move out more. Try again. Good. At that instant. And then straight that way. Right. That's how you do it. So what do you think, Andrew? Even though both wrist forms are used similarly, the Anpalmok has much more speed and elasticity, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's true. It's, a, it's different, but it's still good. Watch carefully now as we run through everything on today's point. Don't go away, because now we have something for you on Taekwondo Real Life. Taekwondo is your best friend. We're all out of time now, unfortunately, but let's go to Master Lee now to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we will learn about the Oigul Yomaki, the Kodro Maki, the Ampalmok Oigul Pitra Maki, and lastly, the Hecho Sandal Maki. These special forms are in store for you tomorrow. So be sure to tune in again to our program. Okay, thank you very much, Master Lee. And thank you for watching. Catch us again tomorrow with more on Taekwondo. Step by step.